All right, she, we just got the, the blood work done to see if we're having a boy or a girl. She said I give her girl vibes. She said girl vibes? Yes, I she said you're having a girl. You better not get her hopes up. For anybody that wants to try blood work to see what they're having, this is what it's, it's called sneak peek, right? Sneak peek clinical. clinical. We, we can uh, we know last pregnancy with Maddox, we did it at home, but there's a good chance you can mess it up and contaminate it. Because I, she, Monica's the only female in the house. She has she had two others, me and Mason. There's there's a high chance that me and Mason could have contaminated it, resulting in a male. I mean, a boy result. So this time we came here, so that we know nothing can be messed up. Even though it was right, we did have a boy, we had Maddox, but still. Yeah, so this is 99% accuracy. It's the stickers? Yeah, these are little tattoos that they gave us. Okay. So they emailed you the results saying boy or girl. I'm having the results emailed to my cousin. She's going to order us the powder cannons for the gender reveal on Friday. And then we find out Friday. So she's the only one that's going to know the difference. So today Maddox is going to wear this. This is cute little outfit I got from Target, but October is almost over, so he can't get much use out of it after this. And then I also got these little booties from Target. I really like these because they're super warm on the inside, but they also have like um, a hard bottom so that he can still walk in them. And he loves them too. <laughs> I have no clue what Mason's going to wear, but his grandma just got him a bunch of jeans so he's probably gonna wear some jeans today let me just see what the weather is gonna be today 64 that's not that bad can your brother have a kiss no you guys match give him hugs give him hugs and kisses oh no baby oh you're so sweet mace and then I'm going to be wearing these green emerald leggings that I just got from Old Navy and this regular oatmeal colored long sleeve shirt, just super basic. But Old Navy just had a sale on all of their leggings and I love their leggings. Like ever since buying them, I will not wear another pair of leggings. Their leggings are really good too for um, after I had Maddox, I stocked up on them when I was postpartum because they super duper like hold your belly in. Um, and that's how I ended up falling in love with them, but now I'm not even postpartum and I still wear them. So these ones are called Balance leggings high rise and I buy the 7 8 angle one and they fit me as regular um, Regular length because I'm just so short All right, guys, so Look at this belly Obviously, it's not baby. It's just blue and gas Like, even my leggings are feeling so tight because I'm so bloated. <sighs> hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. I feel like I haven't done an at-home vlog in so long. And we just have so much going on, as you guys know. Um, but we're finally all, all recovering from being sick. Um, Raheem got sick last, so he's currently feeling the worst right now. Maddox has his 12 month old shots today, which I am not ready for. Um, I vaccinate obviously, but I just always feel so guilty. And I dyed my hair back to my natural color. I have not been this dark in like five years we were calculating it, but I have been bleaching my hair, like I said, for the last five years. So it definitely needed a break um i also cut some of it because it was it was pretty dead at the end like i just needed it to feel nice and healthy and ever since i dyed it dark again it feels so healthy it's so nice and i'm liking it it gives me like fall vibes um i know that'll be blonde again because i just love having blonde hair but as of right now i'm really happy with how my hair looks now it's just gonna take some getting used to because i'm not used to seeing myself with such dark hair but it was really cute because when Mason saw me he was like wow it's so nice it's pretty and he was like touching my hair and then I realized like wow he hasn't seen me with my natural hair color his whole life like I've just always been blonde and then as you guys have seen it like the last couple of videos it was definitely growing out because I had the intentions on going back to my natural color um so I wasn't really keeping up with the blonde but 
as you guys can see my house is crazy it's full of boxes because we're moving saturday we also have our gender reveal on friday today is wednesday um we did the sneak peek on monday and my cousin should be getting an email anytime today telling her what the baby's gender is and I'm like so excited just for her to know what it is and literally I'm talking about her and she just snapchatted me and I wonder if she got the email but <clears throat> and then uh, we're gonna do like the popper cannons at the gender reveal it's gonna be super small it's just immediate family um, I just wanted to like share this with them since this is the only part of the pregnancy that they're gonna get to experience really I had a gender reveal with Mason I didn't with Maddox um, but I'm super excited everybody knows that I want a girl really I just want a healthy baby but the reason that I want a girl is just because it's something different to experience I've always wanted one of each like I definitely wanted Mason to be a boy uh, Maddox I wanted to be a girl, but I'm happy that he's a boy now that he's here. I know I'm going to be happy regardless. I have two beautiful baby boys and a third one would be great. So there's that. I'm not going to be disappointed if it comes out to be blue. Um, I feel like I'm a boy mom. Like I honestly just feel like I'm meant to be a boy mom. I bond better with boys. And my gut feeling is telling me that this is another boy, but we'll see because Raheem's gut feeling the last two were that they were boys, but this one he's like, no, this is a girl. Like, headstrong, this is a girl. And my, I've felt so much better this week. Um, the exhaustion has went down a lot. I haven't been nauseous. Um, I'm about to be 10 weeks. Yeah, I'm turning 10 weeks, and it's just been, let me knock on wood, but it's been... So much better to say the least and today's video is actually a collaboration with a really good friend that I made her name is Kia I actually met her here on YouTube I love 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 watching her videos because they shed so much light and positivity like after I'm done watching one of her videos <clears throat> I'm just so like I feel so positive I'm so happy and she speaks on a lot of different topics to like suicide and mental Ill illness and depression and bipolar um, so if you're someone that can relate to that, I really suggest going and following her um, because she's just so awesome. I promise you won't be disappointed if you go check out her channel. And she has honestly been the best because I was supposed to do this collaboration with her over a month ago, but I've just been so sick and I didn't want to come out and say I was pregnant and <laughs> I kept pushing it off and she was just like, girl, like it's fine, it's fine. And she's still in my collaboration. Like I, she's just such a good friend such a good person and I'm gonna leave her channel linked down below so I had went um, on my Walmart order I added these two um, I'm gonna use them for the gender reveal I'm gonna put blue juice in one which I'm probably gonna have to actually get another one of those because I feel like I'm gonna pour that whole thing in there and it's gonna fill up to like here um, and then I'm putting pink juice pink lemonade in the other which obviously I got to get more of these because I bought this and Rahim and I have no self-control and started drinking it already. Um, and then I'm just going to make like ziti and have appetizers. But I like that they come with these little labels and they were only $12 each. Alright guys, so the way this is going to work is I am going to upload the video, but I'm not going to upload it to any of my social medias such as Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat for 24 hours after I upload it after YouTube. So this way... All of my loyal subscribers get first watch um, when it comes to finding out the gender of baby three. Um, I just felt like it was a good way to honor my subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you'll get a notification on your phone when I upload the video. I'm going to try my best to upload it late Friday night um, after we find out. But if not, I'll get up early Saturday morning before we move and I'll edit and upload it then. So comment down below if you think baby three is a girl or a boy. And I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys for watching.